I could actually see your faces right now, I'd probably be pretty nervous. But I can't see your faces right now, and I'm not. Well, I can tell that you're here, and that you're here, but I can't tell if you're old or young. That's because I'm legally blind, and haven't since I was born. But it doesn't really seem like a disability to me. In fact, from my perspective, my life is pretty normal. But do you know what the hardest thing for me to see? Limitations. It doesn't faze me that sometimes I have to work harder to do things I love, like running, reading, and snowboarding. I'm grateful that my parents have taught me how to be strong and to advocate for myself in life. They've taught me to advocate for the tools that I need to see well enough to accomplish my goals. It would have been easy for me to let many circumstances defeat me. But instead of letting them defeat me, I've chosen to get inspired, overcome them, and break new barriers. My mission in life is to inspire others so they too can overcome their challenges. I want people to know that they can advocate for themselves. I want people to know that they can overcome their challenges, that they can ask for and sometimes demand the tools they need to succeed. Now let me tell you a little bit about my vision. I have a rare genetic vision disorder called blue cone monochromacy. Now I'm sure many of you have walked out of a dark theater into bright daylight before. That temporary day blindness is how my eyes are affected in even moderately bright light. Now all of you have rods and red, green, and blue cone photoreceptors in your retinas. I have all my rods, which means I can see well in dim light, but I'm missing 98% of my cone photoreceptors. I also have a rare form of color blindness, which means I can't distinguish red from black, orange from green, and blue from pink. As a result, my parents often tell me that my clothing color combinations can be quite creative. Now, you may think that a simple solution for this would be for me to wear glasses or sunglasses. Well, I do wear magenta-tinted glasses to help with contrast issues in the classroom. But overall, glasses just don't help me see far away or normal-sized print. My vision challenges, although challenging, have helped me have a positive perspective on life. Because every challenge that was meant to mock me down, I would use to push myself back up and to try that much harder. For example, I used to play soccer. I loved soccer so much that my dream was to one day play in the World Cup. I could really do some magic when I had the ball under control. And I'll always remember the time that I scored five goals in one game. Unfortunately, as time progressed, the ball started to go faster, and I was unable to track it. For example, the ball would go high up into the sky. I'd try to look up and see it but the, the brightness of the sun would temporarily blind me. And when the ball came back down, it'd be gone. That didn't bode well for lots of playing time. And I spent a lot more time than I wanted to sitting on the bench. I didn't like being on that bench, so I took my speed to the track. And I currently run for a competitive running team competing in cross country and track. Cross country does cater to my vision a lot more than soccer did but it does still present some challenges. For example, sometimes the orange cones can blend into the grass. And with a herd of runners surrounding me, it's like running with a blindfold on. And sometimes rocks can look like shadows and shadows can look like rocks. As a result, I've fallen a few times. But I still love the exhilarating feeling of running fast along a trail. I really just hope for the best. As for track, the tension off the line is quite intense because I can't really see where my competitors are. Are they in front of me or behind me? But here's what I can do to tell where they are. I can hear their breaths, the cheers of the crowd, and their footsteps on the track. As the turns and straightaways, I can tell where they are because the contrast between the dark and light lines on the track is great enough so I can see where to turn and where to go straight. When I cross the finish line, it's very satisfying to know that my times are equaling or surpassing the times of my fellow competitors who have the benefit of normal vision. I might have not been able to make soccer work for me, but I was able to redirect my passion for competition 
and I have recently achieved a personal record of a sub five minute mile. I like to apply this to I like to apply this philosophy to life in general as well. I give my all and go for the win every time. Another one of my passions is music. I first got interested in music when a neighbor gave me his full-size violin. I loved that full-size violin that was almost bigger than me at the time because I was five. So my parents found a very patient, understanding, and gifted music teacher who taught me how to play the violin by enlarging my music notes from this to this so I'd be able to read them clearly. She also taught me how to play the piano by ear. But most importantly, Jenny Chin, my music teacher for eight years, made it easy for a visually impaired kid to love music. I then taught myself how to play the ukulele. Now hold my first job teaching the ukulele at the Carlsbad Public Library. And I'm also currently learning the guitar. Last summer, I competed in the Temecula Kids Idol competition, singing Don't Stop Believin'. I couldn't really see the judges' expressions, but in my eyes, they're smiling and encouraging me every step of the way. I'm proud to say that I haven't let my vision disorder prevent me from excelling academically as well. In fact, I've had to learn to advocate for myself by asking teachers to write with a different color on the whiteboard if I can't see the one that they're currently using, or to enlarge the font on my homeworks and tests. I also use a magnifying device so I can see the whiteboard from a distance. I'm proud to say that I haven't let my vision disorder. As I said, I've learned to look at opportunities, not limitations in life. And I want to inspire others with or without a disability to take the same approach. I've already taken a step in this direction by working with the Vision of Children Foundation, which aims to find cures for genetic vision disorders and blindness. I'm honored to be a spokesperson and vision hero for the Vision of Children Foundation, based right here in San Diego. I'd like to play a song that I collaborated on with my producer, Jason Bronner. It's called Run and Blind, and it's my first original song. Did you know that all our hearts are exactly the same color? And you see more when your eyes are covered. No one knows what works anymore. So why not do what you love? No one can see what's behind you when you run. So why not run through the shadows? Run through your fears, run to your heart. Run on faith that you can't hide Cause it's okay to be running blind Running blind It's time to chase down lightning It's time to make your pain your gift Possible, just an opinion And every dream starts with a wish So why not run through the shadows Run through your fears Run to your heart Run on faith that you can't hide Cause it's okay 
to be running blind Running blind So I not run through the shadows Run through your fears Run to your heart Run on faith that you can't hide Cause it's okay to be running blind Running blind Running blind We see more when our eyes are covered The next time that voice inside you says something is beyond your reach, shut it down and take the steps to living a more fulfilled life. Thank you. <laughs>